Brought to you by GTA. We start with you. All of the various agencies that currently promote the preservation and perpetuation of the Chamorro culture are now members of GIHA, which falls under the auspices of the governor's office. They include the Department of Chamorro Affairs, the Commission on the Chamorro Language and the Teaching of the History and Culture of the Indigenous People of Guam, the Commission on Decolonization, the Antonio Palomo Guam Museum, and the Historic Resources Division of the Department of Parks and Recreation. The governor says their primary initiative will be total preservation of our culture, our land, our environment, and our people. That's a single mission. And uh, that would be the priority. And then everything else kind of um, folds into that. Uh, our political status, our, our language, um, our heritage, and so forth. GIA shall meet on a regular basis to discuss and coordinate a collective effort toward Chamorro self-determination, decolonization, and cultural sovereignty. Dr. Laura Souter, chair of the Chamorro Heritage Task Force, calls it a historic moment that will pave the way for better communication and more effective coordination. We think better when we think together, right? We have a greater impact when we work together. And that's what GIHA allows us to do. It's, it's a collaborative uh, alliance. And alliances move nations. But they can also move us within our nation uh, to, to shape a future that's, that's viable for us. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lacanto.